Stepper Brothers. In a Do the Right Thing of Coconut Creek first, the Steffa Brothers all won awards for their leadership at Tree Winds Elementary School. It's for what we do. We are kind, we show compassion, we show respect, and we try our effort. Edwin, the oldest, is now in middle school and a Trade Winds alum. All three of his other brothers are still at the school. I want a trophy, a backpack, and a certificate. There were plenty of other certified honorees too. Jeremiah Gooden, one of the youngest winners ever from Winston Park Elementary School, won for helping teachers collect donations for needy families over the holidays. As the captain, I really think that I should try to unify my team. And that's exactly what Lions Creek 8th grader Schneider Jean-Louis did. Nicknamed Derek Jeter by the school's athletic director for his captaincy of the cross country team, he won for putting his team above his individual goals. And are you enough of a sports fan to know who Derek Jeter is? No. <laughs> from the captain to Super Coop, Cooper Fringet from Exceed Prep. He got that name from the school principal for his overall good character, including his mentorship of a fellow student with unique challenges at the school. This month's Do the Right Thing of Coconut Creek Teacher of the Month was Tradewinds Elementary's Karen Clark, an exceptional student education teacher. She won for the unique way she sets up the morning arrival at the school, overcoming potential chaos with calmness, which sets the right tone for the rest of the day. In another first, former Do the Right Thing of Coconut Creek honoree and scholarship award winner Katie Piskin was the special guest MC, the first prior award winner to fill that role. Home for the holidays from the University of Florida, she joined Santa Claus to make the last award ceremony of the year a very memorable one. For Do the Right Thing of Coconut Creek, I'm Scotty Lee.